So I use a lot of Final Cut Pro plugins, like a ton of plugins, and I use them for a lot of the edits that I put up on YouTube and social media. I know a lot of creators and brands out there, they put out a lot of plugins, but the ones I've been using a lot of is made by Motion VFX. And they're probably the ones that I use the most as I trust the quality of plugins that they put out there. And I just love the stuff that they make. Now, even though this is a sponsored video by Motion VFX, I've been honestly using their stuff for years. And all the edits that you've seen me put out on social media and on my YouTube, 99% of them use Motion VFX. I just want to let you know the five plugins that I use the most from Motion VFX, and maybe you guys can apply it and use it in your videos as well. Let's get started. All right, so let's get started here. The first one I'm gonna talk about is called M Music Video and M Music Video 2. They're both packs made by Motion VFX to help enhance and elevate your music videos. But honestly, I use them for my regular edits and even for my regular YouTube videos, right? So they're both really good though, so don't get me wrong, but the one I use the most is called M Music Video 2. And as you can see here, there's a lot of stuff that they have from camera movements to film mats, to overlay effects, photos, slideshows, and even text pop-ups that you can have on screen here. The ones I use most of the time is called Basic Movement. Very basic, yes, you can see the camera just kind of moving in. Another one that I use is Dynamic, where it makes it look like the camera is moving all around. It just adds movement to your static shots. They got some really cool film mats as well that I use quite often. And it's kind of cool how it fades in as well. So you can fade it in, fade it out, and there's a lot of options that you can play around here, sliders and boxes that you can take off. I like using the Fusion as well. As you can see, it goes from kind of the normal look here to slightly diffuse lighting. And like I said, the regular M Music video is really good as well. They just added more features to the second version. So if you get both of them, I don't think you'll be disappointed because you'll get a ton from each pack. The second one I want to talk about is called M Motion Blur. This one's actually a free one, so you don't need to spend any money on it. But basically, if there's a movement in your shot or a transition, you can use one of these to kind of add that motion blur to it. Uh, you can add dynamic, extreme, regular, subtle. It's really up to you. Uh, most of the time, I just use regular, but depending on uh, the project that you're working on, you might have to play around with it and see which one works better. So in this video here, there's a little transition from me outside to going inside. If you add motion blur to it, it just makes it look a bit more realistic. Simple, it's very simple. You won't even notice it, but I use this pretty much in every video just to make my videos look a bit more real. And it's free, so go grab it. Another one that I love using is called M Restyle 2. And again, there's two versions of this one, but the one I use the most is the second version. So basically these are overlays. These are like overlays that you can put into your videos to give your visuals a different style and look. You can use it in different ways. So in this edit here I made for the NBA when I was doing an event for them, I had it change in the background here. See how everything changed in the background except for the scene tower? I'll talk about that a little bit later on how you can do that. But basically I added an overlay to give the skyline a different feel and vibe to it, right? So I went with the black and gold since the game that I was going to had that black and gold theme to it. But again, you can play around with this. Just throw in any of these overlays into your project and it will change the look. So just to show you guys how easy it is to use the overlays, all you have to do is find an overlay that you like and throw it on top of your clip and you can see it fade in and change it. So this one here, I went with the artistic one. Uh, let's try another one here. Let's try another one. Let's try this one here. It's a little bit more colorful and you can see it changes it up for you. So what I did here was I combined two of their plugins and made this cool effect where you can see the scene tower have that little glow to it with some sparks on, on the tower itself. So what I did was use their other plugin called MRoto AI, which is an AI masking plugin, which does everything for you. Now this is subscription based, so you have to subscribe to get it on a monthly basis. But the things you can do with this is just crazy. And honestly, I've been using it for a couple weeks and it's saving me so much time when it comes to editing my videos. So basically with MRoto AI, you drag it onto your clip and then it pops up with this little box here. All you gotta do is take the brush and highlight the part that you wanna mask out. And it does a pretty good job, but uh, obviously sometimes it doesn't fully get everything. So you just gotta quickly highlight everything which honestly took me like a minute to do this with my edit and it'll mask it out for you. So now, as you can see, that's the masked out video, which I did in 10 seconds. Obviously you can do a better job. So what I did was after I masked out the scene tower, I added in this cool artistic effect 
that I showed you earlier. And then I added that masked out tower on top. So it looks like it just masked out everything else except the tower. So now it looks like the tower was separated from the background and the effect was just applied to everything in the background except for the mass scene tower. You can do so much with Mroto AI, so definitely check it out. There is a 14-day trial and also it's still at the introductory pricing, so definitely take a look at that and see if that's something you can use in your edits and make your life a little bit easier when it comes to editing your videos. And before I continue with the rest of the video, I just want to let you know that from now until December 3rd, Motion VFX is offering 30% off their plugins as part of their Black Friday, Black Week sale. They'll also have four different products that'll be 50% off throughout the week, so make sure to check on those. And if you spend more than $100, you'll unlock an achievement pack, which is a free plugin. All you gotta really do is use the code 30BLACK during checkout to have that discount applied. Just a quick note, you can't apply this to their bundles or their new subscription plan, but like I said, it's still available at intro pricing, so definitely go check that out. So the fourth plugin that I use quite often is called MKinetics2 and they're pretty much animated titles. So as you can see here, there's about 60 of them to choose from and you can customize each one fully. So for example, we'll, we'll pick this one here. We'll shorten it and we'll let it load. We'll just say game day in Toronto. Shout out the six. And it just pops up. So super basic but it saves me time when it comes to finding different titles to use for my videos. And MKinetic 2, also there's MKinetic 1. I use them actually both quite often. The second one I use the most, but again, this is preference. I just like some of the animations better in the second one. Another one you should go check out. And another one that I use quite often is a transition pack and it's called M Transition Film Roll. And I use this in edits where it's fast paced and just a lot of fast moving things. So with this, all you gotta do is drag it in between your two clips and it gives you that cool quick effect, right? And I don't use it for all my edits, but I do use it quite often. And like I said, I use it for more of the fast paced stuff, but it's good to have for those type of videos. And a lot of it are pretty cool too. They're really well made. There are other transition packs that you can get on Motion VFX. I just feel like this fits my style a bit more. So if you're looking for a transition pack, definitely look into this one. But there are other ones like M Transition Mega Pack, which is pretty much a ton of transitions put together. I don't use all of them on here, but there are a few that I like. So check that one out as well. See if that works better for you. Thanks for watching guys. And again, if you want 30% off your purchase, make sure to use 30 black during checkouts so that you get 30% off your plugins. And if you like this video, make sure to go watch this one here where I talk about free motion VFX plugins that you can use right now.